Kretis. Translated, with introductory essays, comments, and notes by Su Li Chang, 1982. 10. The Creator. The opening verse denies the four possible ways of viewing the cause of suffering, that is, self-caused, other-caused, both self-caused and other-caused, and non-caused. The term other here and in the rest of the chapter means anything other than itself or oneself. LT may refer to a person or persons as well as a thing or things. In what follows, Nagarjuna uses the logic of Red Uxio ad absurd. Um to show the absurdity and untenability of each causal view. In doing this, he repudiates the concept of God as the creator and savior. Again, all things are empty. Why? Because it is impossible for a thing to be made by itself, by another, by both, itself and another, or from no cause at all. As it has been said, it is not justifiable that suffering is made by itself, by another, by both or from no cause at all. Therefore there is no suffering. Suffering cannot make itself. Why? If it makes itself, it makes its own substance. But a thing cannot use itself to make itself. For example, consciousness cannot be conscious of itself, and a finger cannot touch itself. Therefore nothing can be said to make itself. Suffering is not made by another either. How can it be made by the other? Question, conditions are called other. Conditions make suffering, this is called to be made by other. How can you say suffering is not made by other? Answer, if conditions are called other, suffering is made by conditions. If suffering is produced from conditions, then it has conditions as its substance. If it has conditions as its substance, why are the conditions called other? For example, in a clay jar, clay is not called other. In a golden bracelet, gold is not called other. This also applies to the case of suffering. If it is produced by conditions, the conditions cannot be called other. Again, conditions do not have self-nature. They are not self-existent. Therefore, it cannot be said that effect is produced from conditions. As it has been written in the middle treatise, effect is produced from conditions, but, conditions are not self-existent, if conditions are not self-existent, how can conditions produce effect? Comment, this is taken from verse of chapter 1 of the mid Dli treatise. According to Pingla, whatever can be conceived to exist must have a certain nature or self-nature. If causal conditions do not have self-nature, they cannot be conceived to exist. And if the conditions are non-existent, how can we say that effect is produced by them? Thus suffering cannot be made by other. Nor can it be made by both itself and other, for this involves two fallacies. If you say that suffering is made by itself and by other, then there would be the fallacies of self-made and other-made, which have both been refuted. Therefore it is not justifiable that suffering is made by both. That suffering is produced from no cause at all cannot be true either, for that involves that fallacy of etymalism. As it is written in the scripture, a naked hrithika asked the Buddha, is suffering made by itself? The Buddha kept silent and did not answer. World honored. If suffering is not made by itself, is it made by other? The Buddha still did not answer. World honored. Is it then made by itself and by other? The Buddha still did not reply. World honored. Is it then made by no cause at all? The Buddha still did not answer. Thus, as the Buddha did not answer these four questions, we should know that suffering is empty. Comment, a Trithika is a heretical or non-Buddhist religious man. There were six famous Trithikas, namely, Purikasayapa, Maskaran, Sayajayan, Ajitakasakarbala, Kakutakatyana, and Nirgrantha. The naked Trithikas, according to the Chinese master Tai Su, belong to the Nirgrantha sect of naked devotees who abandoned all ties and forms. Question. Buddha's teaching in the scripture is not that suffering is empty, but he did this for the sake of saving sentient beings. Comment, this exchange juxtaposes Hinayana and Mahayana views. According to Hinayanists, the Buddha kept silent when non-Buddhists such as their Thika asked him about the cause of suffering because they had prejudices and false views in mind before they asked the questions. Unless they abandoned their prejudices, they could not understand the truth, so the Buddha did not answer. 
In fact, suffering is real, not empty. But according to the Madhyamaka, the real reason the Buddha kept silent was that all things are empty and cannot be expressed or discussed in the form of the four alternative views. Answer, the Trithikas say that man is the cause of suffering. Those who believe in the real existence of the self say good and evil are made by the self. The self is deen and pure and has no suffering and troubles. That which knows and understands is the self. It makes good, evil, suffering and happiness, and is embodied in various forms. Since they have those wrong views and ask the Buddha, is suffering made by itself, the Buddha does not answer. Suffering is really not made by the self. If the self is the cause of suffering, suffering is produced owing to the self. The self would be impermanent. Why? If things are causes and produced from causes, they are all impermanent. Now if the self is impermanent, then the fruits and the consequences of good and evil deeds would disappear. The performance of Brahmanic deeds to obtain good rewards would also be empty. Comment, the self or Atman is supposed to be permanent. Nagarjuna points out that if the self is the cause of suffering it would be impermanent, and therefore the opponent's view involves a contradiction. Empty in the last sentence suggests, would eventually disappear. Traditional religious practice would be in vain. If the self is the cause of suffering, there can be no liberation. Why? If the self makes suffering, without suffering there will be no self which is the maker of suffering, if there is no self, then who will achieve liberation? If suffering can be made without the self, there will be suffering even after liberation, and there is no, real, liberation. But in fact, there is liberation. Therefore, it is not justifiable that suffering is made by itself. Suffering is not made by other either. If suffering is separated, from the other, how can there be another self who makes suffering and bestows it on the recipient? Comment, this involves two absurdities, without suffering itself there is nothing that can be called, other. Without suffering, who is going to be the recipient to receive suffering? Reasoning here is similar to the argument in the mid treatise 12. And. Again, suffering is made by other, may mean it is made by God Asvara. Some who hold this heterodox view ask the Buddha, about the creation of the universe. So the Buddha did not answer. Really it was not made by God. Why? Because, God and suffering. Are contradictory in nature. A ca if born of a cow is still a cow. If creatures are created by God, they should be similar to God. For they are his sons. Comment literally means self-existing heaven. It refers to Svara, the title of Shiva, the king of the Devas or gods. Here Nagarjuna uses the self-existing heaven of Isvara to examine the concept of God and to show that God cannot be used to explain the origin, duration and destruction of the universe. Again, if God created all living beings, he would not give them suffering. Therefore one should not say that God created suffering. Question, ah living beings are created by God.